balanced our engines and they are ready to be mounted on the booms. And for this job we will need the taller screws. As I said before, two thirds of the screw should be into the material. That's not exactly what will happen here, but it's just looks good. So what we're gonna do is yeah, mount the engines and I want the output cables to the front and we need to see that we have the long distance holes are here and the small distance is further in so I'll check the engine and just put the screw in and just Fasten the first screw to the next front engine and do the same. Put in the screw, check the holes and mount it into the next one. Do just about the same. Pre mounting and the last engine. Somewhat about the same. So, when I have all the four engines pre mounted, I will just flip the whole package. And align the engines and just put in all four screws. Tighten just enough. All four screws. So this is how it's gonna look when it's has the S controllers, the booms are attached, the engines are attached, and we have balanced engines. So this is one step in being successful so that when the engines are tightened I'm gonna use some stripes to pre-mount the S controllers because I just don't want them to be all over the place and hanging around when building the rest. So I'm just pre mount them. I'm not cutting the stripes all the way down because at the final stage I will need to secure them a lot better 
and the engine cables we are gonna check that the engines are turning correctly so I just put them like that ready to be connected to the controller at the later stage this way we get a quite neat installation looking good so uh, that's about it let's put plate on to see what it's gonna look like uh, you can have a quick look where to mount receiver in the rear our current sensor needs to be placed somewhere and our GPS needs to be placed somewhere and I also got a 5.8 Emerson video transmitter so I guess it will be placed somewhere in the middle so that's about engine mounting and balancing